Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, I will talk about the application process for applying to the search internship at OIST. In my previous video, I already discussed about what kind of documents are required, what is eligibility criteria, how many times in a year OIST an application for this internship and what kind of benefits the student may get through this. But today, I will discuss only how you can create an account and how you can proceed your application for research internship at your individual portal at OIST. So let's get into first you need to open the Google like this and then write apply research internship OIST. Just click on the first link. So after clicking this page will appear which describe about this research internship and uh, how this internship will be awarded to the student and what is the criteria of selection and what kind of environment a student can get irrespective of gender and all the stuff. So after scrolling down, you see an application procedure. Click on that and the application to the program must be made through the online form. So you need to click on this option online form after clicking you will open a window like this if you are a student and you are very new and you are applying for the very first time you need to create your account and if you already apply then you just need to put your email and password and login after create your account this kind of window will open and uh, you will receive an email in your inbox about the activation of your account. So after activation your account, you will be reached to this kind of page, right? So just click on my dashboard and you can proceed with your application for research internship. Here you can see there are two options. The first option is for applying for PhD and the second option is for research internship application. So in research internship application, there are the two things. The first thing is start or edit your application. Uh, this is the action which is required by student. And the second option is add new recommender or one or three recommendation letter. So this option, I will make a separate video how you can write an email to this admission portal of OIS to your recommender to send a recommendation letter for you. But for right now, you just need to start or if you are already start, you just need to edit your application if you didn't submit it yet, right? So just click on the start or edit application. It may take uh, four or five seconds, but don't worry about that. So this is E research internship application okay the student who is who is proceeding with this application so in in my case as I am applying to this internship for example so this is my first name and this is my last name so the first thing you you need to confirm this kind of information the first is accuracy information the kind of information the document and whatever you send to the graduate school it should be accurate and the second one is data use policy. So whatever you send to graduate school, either your um, transcript, um, your diploma or your other certificate that, that you may get either through workshop, work, workshops or internship, uh, OIST has authority to use your data, right? For analytical purposes, right? And the third one is the reference letter confidential policy. So this is very important part of research internship application that uh, when you write an email to your recommender on the admission portal of OIST, so this is just information that is confidential between your recommender and OIST, you are not into that after, right? So you must agree to confirmation statement below in order to submit your application. So you need to confirm that the kind of information you send is accurate and the OIST is eligible and OIST has authority to use your data. And third one is uh, reference letter confidential confidentiality, right? So the second option is the basic information. So 
this is information about yourself who you are and from which country you are, you are belong right so the first is your first name the your family name and if you have any middle name you may write it here as well so this is this is a portion that is specific for japanese if you are not from japan then you don't need to worry about that so after that you need to select your gender you are male or female right so if like this okay so please if your gender is different from passport then you may write it here so please describe your date of birth in this way year first and then month and then date after your citizenship and uh, your secondary email if you have any secondary email rather than your first email that you use for sign up to this account you may also write it here so this is an option of safe application one uh, important thing i want to tell you you don't need to submit your application at once i mean when you start your application you don't need to submit in just one uh, you can you can save your application for later on or you may submit it later when you are satis satisfied enough before the application deadline right so the third one is your address so first thing is you need to tell from which country you belong and then your street address of your city and then your region and postal code so the student who don't know uh, which is the postal postal code of your area you, ju you just need to write your area your city and your country and then google google automatically tell you about your postal code you don't need to worry about that and then sporting information so this is the most important part of this application the first thing is your statement of purpose in my previous video i already discussed what kind of question you need to be answered by writing your statement of purpose so your statement of purpose should be 250 to 300 words and it should be 2500 characters and second one is your cv you may choose file and then upload it here your photo i already discussed in my previous video what kind of photo you need to upload here right and then your valid student id and certificate of registration so if you are a graduated then you need to upload your character certificate but if you are a current student in your university you need to upload a certificate of registration or it also called an enrollment certificate so and the last is how will you fund your internship so you may choose from here obviously internship student need requesting oist fund so you at this point you may also save your application and then you can also proceed with your application in next coming days or whenever you like so education history so in this part you need to add your most recent or your current degree or your current studies so first you need to select your country and then your institute if your university is not in the list you can choose this part and then you you can write the name of your university so you you need to write here date attending from which to which and then your level of study what is your level of study you are studying at bachelor's master's or other uh please think oist for pa for research internship at oist phd student can't apply for this so in this section you need to upload your diploma so if you are not graduated yet you need to upload a hope certificate where your degree completion date must be written but if you are graduated you need to upload your diploma dmc or your degree these three are the same name of the thing and then you need to upload your transcript so the transcript must be in english language so the primary language of education is english in your country or not you may select from here yes or no so for your current uh, degree if you are not graduated yet you may write 
the name of major four or five major like i am from biochemistry i can write molecular biology nucleic acid of biochemistry biochemistry of nucleic acid and then human physiology enzymology and amino acid proteins so if your major is different then you can write here right and then your gpa so your gpa is your written on your transcript so you just need to write your gpa you also need if you if you receive any kind of fellowship award or scholarship you can write one after another and if you are not graduated yet and you are currently pursuing your graduation degree you add, you add another item and you can also write in detail about your previous uh, study about your intermediate or your matric and then at this moment of time you can also save your application after that your non degree study and career to make your application stand out as compared to other candidates so this part is quite quite important so in this part you may add your any non degree study like if you if you have done or you are currently doing any internship maybe on um in, in in some industry or in some research institute you may write the name of organization the country from which you are doing your internship the city region and then period and then and then all the stuff you can also add in this section any kind of the seminar you have attend and you should have a proof for that seminar because in the last you need to submit a supporting document in this section you also upload various kind of certificate that you may get through various online courses i mean uh, maybe from coursera open ai and other and if you attended or if you organize any kind of workshop you may also write it here and uh, so this is for one and if you if you have done so many workshop uh, your certificate so you just add another item one after another until or unless you have completed your all stuff right and then your area of scientific interest this this section is also quite important because in this section oist will evaluate your application according to your research interest okay so your scientific core field your major you need to write your major subject like you can select the unit in the oist uh, for example if you are from biology background you may select biochemistry biotechnology biosensing botany and uh, biosignaling and some other stuff like cell culturing and and your minor field you can also select from here so in this section you need to select a faculty in which you are interesting for recruiting as a research intern so this is link to your statement of purpose for example in your statement of purpose you wrote about one particular unit for example in in one unit you know the name of the professor in which you are interested so you also wrote your sop according to that unit so by clicking here you can write the name of professor according to his unit that you are writing your sop so you can choose any professor from here and then your second interest and then third interest this is a portion of your duration or stay at oys if you are lucky enough to be selected here so your desired duration of visit so like this application runs for the spring intake so this intake will start from first week of april to the end of september so your starting days should be in between this so you can select your start date and then your end date and if for example you are you are not graduated yet and you have one semester or two semester left for completion of your degree 
so in that case you may also apply for the date flexible because sometime in your direct in your university direct academics do not allow you uh, to be here until or unless you completed your credit hours or your attendance record because of the system in in so many asian countries so you can save the application at this moment of time as well so you are interested in oist so if you are selected for research internship do you interest in oist phd program or not you may choose your according to your will the, these options so about the travel information so you can't travel until or unless you have a passport so passport is very i mean passport is mandatory to applying for any international internship or international scholarship because without passport you can't go abroad so here you write your passport number and then first page of pa passport you need to scan the first page of passport and then upload a file here if you are a, you you are from japan or you are deciding in japan for more than 5 or 10 years then you then you hold a japanese visa or if you are not if you are not holding any japanese visa then you say no okay so this is the nearest major airport so uh, uh, like in pakistan for faisalabad the international airport is allahabad like international airport you can also google according to your nearest location and uh, so nearest japanese japanese embassy or consulate to your, to your location just google according to your location and then google tell you about the a proper address and complete address of Jap japanese embassy near your location right so like in my case i am from i am from pakistan so the embassy all the embassies are in federal so i just google what is the location of japanese embassy in pakistan so this kind of address i get from it so i just copy there and paste here and then last relationship with oist so this is the information they asking you about how you hear about oist so you can choose for example i hear from some kind of conference or seminar you may also click internet search whatever you want or you may get information about oist you can select from and uh, you can also write it down if you are not satisfied with a given option above have you ever attend oi sponsor event or program if yes please select the option and then write here in the application like i just give a demo how you can fill all the required options for this applying research internship but if i properly fill the applic all application form in the last days option of submission of application so i just submitted the application and if your document is missing then then your application is not submitted and then you receive a cert certain kind of message from this admission portal that you need to submit that document and you need to submit this document so after that you will be successful to submit your application so best of luck for your application this is all about thank you for your listening thank you so much